Welcome back friends and thank you for joining me today and if you are new here my name is Kim. Today I just figured I would bring you along and kind of give you an update on the plants that I had started all from seed. Um, as you know um, if you've been following my videos I start um, all of my garden. I have a very large garden and I start everything from seed so I do not have to buy any plants. It saves so much money cost me less than a hundred dollars to get everything planted so i just wanted to show everybody today how everything is growing it is growing so big um i'm actually going to be getting ready to do a very exciting video that will be my next one um we are building a new greenhouse but first i'm going to get all these peppers and tomatoes up potted because they have outgrown their little containers now these are some of the larger ones I started about five weeks ago. These are green bell peppers. Um, they are a giant green bell pepper. And back here in this tray, these are a little bit smaller, growing a little bit slower. Um, the Fresnos are on the left. And then there are a couple more green bell peppers in here, growing lots of green bell peppers this year. And back here, these are growing really good. These are jalapenos. These will be exciting. We can make cowboy candy this year out of those. I'm just about out. And these ones I started about three weeks ago. They're not as big. Um, there are some sweet banana peppers, um, some sugar rush peach peppers, Tabasco peppers, all kinds of good. Um, I've got some red bell peppers in here also. And over here, these are some tomatoes. These are Cherokee purples. I also have San Marzano and Rudkers. Um, I've also got some beefsteak and mortgage lifters in here. Um, there is a couple of cherry peppers. Back there in the two pots, those are some dill that I just started about two weeks ago. But all of these tomatoes and peppers need to be repotted today, so I'll be working on that. Um, over here is some celery that I started about four weeks ago. It grows very very slow um, it is just now starting to grow it's only a couple inches tall but I will be working on repotting those tomatoes and peppers in a minute now here I've got some onions these are some Utah yellow onions and they are getting very tall they are probably about six inches tall back here I have some evergreen bunching onions and um, if you want to look at my past videos, back here is also some Utah sweet yellow onions. But if you want to look at my past videos on how I got these started, um, you could just go through. I did it about a month ago. And they're very easy to start. Um, oh, now over here, this is an entire tray of petunias. These are all mixed colors. There's some purples, some pinks, some whites. I started an entire tray this year and they are doing really well. I put about three or four seeds in each container so I might have to go through and replant those too. Over here um, the front is marigolds. So I've got a half a container in here and the back are all zinnias. We are growing lots of flowers this year. I'm getting ready to start some more flower seeds of some other kinds but these are doing so good. They are starting to get really nice and big over here are some more evergreen bunching onions they're kind of harder to see i've got these in one of these little miniature greenhouses with some grow lights so the color is a little off but we're i grew some extras in case my daughter wants to plant some this right here is all cabbage they are doing really well i'll be getting those planted probably in the next week outside they are about ready to go over here is some Napa cabbage. They are doing really, really well also. I love to grow all different kinds of cabbages. The regular cabbages I can chop up, put in my freezer, and the rest works great for stir fry. Um, here we've got some broccoli that is looking amazing. And some bok choy. That freezes really well also. I like to store that in my freezer so we can have it all winter. Back here, the first row is just some herbs. There is some basil and oregano. And then back behind, there are some um, head lettuce and some leaf lettuce. And there's also some romaine back there. I think um, I planted red romaine this year. It grows better for us. And has a little more flavor. 
Now these right here, this is kale. As you know, I grow this for my chickens and my puppy dog, um, my chihuahua, Peanut. She loves kale. Um, so this is a bunch of kale plants. And this is some more herbs. There is some oregano and some parsley and some more basil in here. The oregano is starting to grow. And the rosemary grows very slow, but it is starting to grow really nice. Um, here I've got some spinach. I love spinach. It is another one of those items that you can just cut it and put it in your freezer and it freezes very well. So there is my update on my plants. I am getting ready to up pot these tomatoes and green peppers. I'm going to start with my green bell peppers. These are the giant ones. I'm just using some 8 ounce star foam cups that I had from last year. Um, I just stick a pencil and it pops some holes in the bottom of them. And I washed them out real good because I reuse them every year. It's just a little bit cheaper than having to buy 4 inch pots to transplant them in. I just reuse them every year. And here I'm just using some miracle Grow potting mix. Um, I've been using miracle Grow for over 20 years now and it works the best for me so i am just going to stick with it um you can use any soil you want just use some kind of potting mix for indoor outdoor and here i just went ahead and i took that miracle grow potting mix and i just put about a quarter of a cup in each one of these okay i am just going to i just put some gloves on when i'm doing this just because it's a little easier than cleaning under your nails afterwards. <laughs> um, I've got long nails. It's hard to get that dirt out from underneath them. And I apologize if you can hear the thunder and lightning and the rain right now. It is April 1st. Um, yesterday was Easter. It was a beautiful day. And today it is about 48 and rainy and cloudy and really windy. <laughs> Okay, I plotted, or I planted two seeds in each one of my containers. As you can see, I did them in a diagonal. I did two seeds in each one, so I could have two plants. But you can see they are starting to turn yellow on me. They need fertilizer. I'm just going to... I'm going to make a little indent in here in my dirt. Now... I know everybody says to don't plant your peppers deep well if you plant tomatoes you know that you sink your tomatoes down um, in your cup and they will develop roots on the stems well now I did an experiment about five years ago and I planted half of my peppers deep like my tomatoes and then I planted the other half just regular um, where they would be planted like this where they were just barely covered at the soil level my tomato or my peppers these are green bell peppers um my peppers did amazing when i planted them deep just like a tomato so ever since then i have planted mine deep now i will come back through and i'm going to add more soil in a minute right now i am just going to get all of these i think i have 21 or 22 cups in here so i'm going to go ahead and plant all of these with tomatoes because i need or not tomatoes, sorry, <laughs> green bell peppers. Um, I need, I'm trying to think how much I have room for. I think I have room for about 14 bell peppers. I like to do lots of bell peppers because, and you can just pull these apart really easy, but see how they're getting the roots? They need to be transplanted. And I just pop them apart. But I think I need... I think 14 to 16 in my garden I do have more bell peppers over on the growing table and then my daughter I think she's gonna do about eight of them and then I'll plant a couple over at my mother-in-law's house and then anything I have left I will just go ahead and give away but I am just going to sink these I'm just gonna make a hole in there if you can see I'm just kind of pushing the soil to the side and then I'm just going to set that pepper down in there and I'm going to push down a little bit and I don't want to hurt the stem but I am going to fill these pots all the way up so there's about an inch from the top I will fill them full of soil and I'm going to bury them and everybody says not to but I did my own experiment and it works really really good for me and I had twice as many peppers I had really healthy plants 
So, and this is the only thing I really do that with. I do bury my cabbage a little bit lower, too, um, than soil level. I found that that works with cabbage, too, but um, I do mine just like tomatoes, and I know there's a lot of people out there going, no, don't do it, but I have done it for the last five years. And if you're repotting some peppers, do one or that is sunk down a little bit lower and test it for yourself this year. Um, there is a big difference. You will get a bushier plant. You will get more flowers is what I have learned. And more flowers means more peppers. And I am planting lots and lots of peppers because um, we use a lot of peppers. And I like to just dice them up or slice them up and throw them in Ziploc bags. I usually throw them on a cookie sheet first and just throw them in the freezer. Um, let them freeze and then I will pull them out and put them um, in some freezer bags. Or I even use vacuum sealer bags. And they will last a good year in your freezer easily. I still have, I think... I have one bag left. I am just about out of peppers. So I almost made it to next gardening season. Not quite. <laughs> but I am just going to work on getting all these potted up. And maybe I will take you outside as soon as I am done with this. And show you what our weather is doing out there. It is. The weather has turned crazy. It was not too bad earlier. It was in the 40s. It wasn't real cold. And then all of a sudden, the sky started to rumble, <laughs> and the wind is just blowing like crazy out there. And then it started to pour down rain. I think, I think it's just sprinkling now. It doesn't sound too bad, but right before I turned the camera back on, we had a downpour of rain. I just happened to be outside. I was getting water for my chickens, and it just downpoured rain. Poor little Gus the Pomeranian was wanting to play with his toys, and right as we started, it started raining, so he's just going to have to wait. Maybe we'll have to go outside tomorrow, because <laughs> it is just raining too hard. But I am just going to work on getting the rest of these potted up, and I do have, like I said, these are a giant bell pepper. Um, I also have some Fresnos, and um, I have Sugar Rush Peach. I've got to get all those potted up this week. And um, I have my older greenhouse. It does have a couple holes in the top of the roof. It's kind of dry rotted. It's just one of those old cheapy green ones you buy at the store. And the tops on them do not last long. Um, usually after a couple of seasons, the tops on them will start to dry rot and they will start to leak which wouldn't be bad except for the fact that it is still cooler here in Colorado and it's cold at night we're still getting down to the, the 30s and sometimes the 20s at night so I do have to put a little heater in there I just have a little electric space heater I put in there and I turn it on at night or if we happen to have any cold snowy days still but I think we're past most of our snow now, so I think we'll be alright. This is a smaller one. I'm going to go ahead and plant it anyways because it will catch up. I'm not going to put it as deep because it is a little bit shorter. But um, I went ahead and got it ready and I put, I kind of reinforced it with some clear plastic on the inside just to hold the water out um, in a couple of spots where the roof is leaking. Um, because I do have the electric heater in there and the last thing I need is water in my greenhouse spraying down <laughs> with an electric heater going out there. Um, now my husband and I just looked into, we're going to be getting, I'll have to show you my backyard where my garden is. Um, I just changed things around out there. Um, we actually, I have a, I've noticed in my videos, I have a six foot wood fence around my garden area and there's a reason I have that six foot wood fence. It's because we have rabbits all over out here. Um, the first 10 years of planting my garden, I would plant my stuff and I would go out the next morning and half of it would be gone or just if you plant carrots, the, the carrots would break the ground or the spinach and the next day they would be completely gone. Rabbits just devour my garden. 
So we put a six foot wood fence all the way around my garden. And it helps too because it also keeps all that nasty wind out. We get a lot of wind here. Um, keep, it doesn't break your plants, but it keeps all those little critters out. Um, rabbits is mainly my, my, my main nuisance around here besides neighborhood feral cats. <laughs> they, they have done a destruction on my garden in the past. Um, they like to use them as litter boxes, but it has also helped with keep the cat population away. I mean, there are some, but the dogs normally run them off. But, um, we just extended part of my garden and we actually just added, it's not much. We just added another little eight by eight space to it, but I'm extremely excited because we just looked into getting a hard plastic clear greenhouse. Um, this is a, a permanent greenhouse. It's not like those little green ones. Um, and it is like eight and a half by, let's see, eight and a half by six and a half. It's a little bit bigger than what I have. I think what I have outside is about five by five and I run out of room every year in it, but this one is eight and a half by six and a half. Um, I would have gone with the 10 by 12, but I just don't have room for it by in the enclosed area. Um, but we're going to be getting that hopefully this week if everything goes right. And we're going to be start building that this weekend. So I will probably move all my cabbages and stuff that I am going to re be replanting also, or up potting. Um, I'll probably move that into the little green house that I have right now um, for a week or two until we can get this other hard side greenhouse planted. I am very excited about it, or planted, built, <laughs> I should say, um, until we can get it built. And then I can move everything into there and hopefully I will have lots of room this year. And I'm going to be taking down the other one and I have plans for that area because I'm going to be putting some grapes in there and some raspberries and all kinds of exciting stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to, I need two more plants. So I'm going to grab two more out of the other tray that I have over there and then I'm going to start on some other peppers. Here I just have my soil that was in my bowl that I had wet, and I am just going to put some more soil in here. I'm not going to push it down real, real hard. I want to push it down just a little bit, just to firm it. But so, is anybody else getting really excited about? winter being over <laughs> getting your plants out in your garden and a lot of people i am watching a lot of channels i follow are have already got the warm weather they have already been planting peppers and tomatoes and i'm very very jealous <laughs> i would love to be able to plant early what kind of peppers are you planting in your garden this year what kind of vegetables are you planting? I'm going to change it up a little bit this year. I'm planting some stuff that I have never planted before. So we'll see how it goes. And depending on what things look like, I'll we'll decide what we're going to do next year. So I'm going to work on getting all the rest of these green bell peppers planted up. And then I'm going to start on, I've got a lot of jalapenos that I need to get repotted, um, a lot of Fresnos, uh, Sugar Rush Peach, I'm not even sure, I've got all different kinds, and hopefully within the next week, I'm going to try to work on this just about every day this week that I've got some time, um, I'm going to get try to get all of my tomatoes up potted, I've got lots of cabbages I need to get up potted. Um, I've got some lettuce I think I'm going to have to up pot because I still have, oh, I don't know, maybe about two weeks and then I can start planting um, cabbage and lettuce and get outside and get some onions going and some carrot seeds going and I will bring you along for all of that. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, just follow along and follow me on my gardening adventure this year. Please like, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all new subscribers. I am approaching 500 subscribers. I believe I need four more. <laughs> so if you would like to help out, maybe you could share out my videos if you like them. 
you like my channel, recommend me to people. I would love to to hit that 500 subscribers. There is a thing where you can be, I guess, partially monetized um, at 500 subscribers with, I believe, 3,000 watch hours. And I am just shy of about 2,000 watch hours right now, so I could really use some more watch hours. I <laughs> need about 1,000 more. Just over a thousand more, and then to be fully monetized, I think you got to be a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. So, hopefully, soon I'm working at it, <laughs> just getting by little by little. So, I am going to work on these, and I will show you what everything looks like when I get a bunch of these planted up or potted up, and I will bring you along this later this week um, to show you probably the tomatoes and the cabbage and stuff. And I'm also going to be doing another cooking video. I haven't been doing a lot lately. We've been eating a lot of leftovers. Um, I've been just working on getting stuff potted up. And I've just kind of been doing some recipes that you've already seen. Or just some real simple ones. But I'm going to be making a Boston cream pie cupcake that I have made years ago. And it is so good. And it is one of those really... Quick, easy, throw-together recipes. Um, only cost you a little bit of money to make. But the cupcakes are to die for. They taste just like a Boston cream pie. <laughs> but very, very simple to make. So I will see you back here in a couple minutes. And I will show you what I have got done for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and share and subscribe if you are new here. My name is Kim. I hope to see you back here. So, I will see you all in a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Well, there we go. I got two trays of peppers up pot it. And I also got an entire tray of tomatoes up pot it. So I am going to be done for today, and I will start working on some more again tomorrow. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day, and happy planting.